which subject should i start from what are the sources that we must use motivation to study long hours these are the few common questions that every student preparing for neat pg has these questions are going to be answered in this video and in my upcoming videos so stay tuned hello everyone i am dr atishay gangwal and i welcome you all to atls today we are going to start the first video of our 10 on 10 series where we are going to talk about the most important topic the subject priority list a strategic approach in your preparation can boost your rank and knowing which subject to start from is the first step so let's talk about the priority list so as you know this is the content of my 10 on 10 series and we are at the first part and this is the priority list which i have prepared with my own experience and also the youtube videos which i used to watch when i myself had this doubt so the order goes as pediatrics pharma surgery obstetrics and gynae and at last we have ent now you might ask that why pediatrics is at the top while subjects like surgery obstetrics and gynae and medicine from which bulk of the questions are being asked but it is put below pediatrics so this is because of the weightage of the subject let me explain you this with the help of an example so this is the subject wise weightage which i have prepared it is from the year of 2021 to 2025 how many questions were asked from each of the subject so you can see from pediatrics in 2023 around 10 questions were asked and in 24 8 while in 2025 it was 8 again so let's take the average number of questions being asked from pediatrics as 8 per year and if you see the maro rapid revision 8 videos it is around 8.2 hours of video lectures for pediatrics so we can say that for every 1 hour that we give to pediatrics we can solve one question in the exam and let's see now for medicine in 2023 19 questions were asked while in 24 it was 20 and in 2025 it was 25 so for now let's take the average as 20 questions per year and if you see maro rapid revision 8 videos now there is 30 hours of video lectures for the subject of medicine and therefore we can say that for every 1 hour that we study medicine we have to give 1.5x more time to medicine than we can give to pediatrics i hope this is clear from this example if not just repeat the video of this part and you will understand it so this is the weightage of the subjects you can screenshot them and put it up on your wall and accordingly see which is the subject which is most important also i can give one more reason why medicine is put below pediatrics because subjects like pharmacology pathology and physiology it covers most of the part of medicine and a lot of ground is covered so you know you already know a lot of things before you start medicine and similarly this is the priority order for rest of the subjects just remember that this is just a general guideline your individual strategy should be based on your strengths and your weakness example i have kept ophthalmology and anatomy at the bottom of the list because these subjects need multiple revisions and they are very very time consuming and while ent is kept at the last because the volume of the notes is too huge but the number of questions if you see it's on an average of 5 questions every year and also for the fact that the questions asked from ent are not on the tougher side and even if you study ent one time you are able to retain a lot of things I also want to talk about a super effective strategy of studying the subjects together. So this is the list which I have prepared again. Uh, it goes as pediatrics and obstetrics and gynae should be studied together, while medicine, pathology, pharma and physio, which are together known as the integrated system, they should be studied together. And surgery, orthopedics, radiology, which requires more of procedures and images and radiological images, they have been put together. This list I have prepared according to the BTR test and discussion So you can see this is the BTR test and discussion section where subjects like surgery orthopedics and radio test has been conducted together obs and gynae and pediatrics together integrated has been conducted together microbiology anatomy and so on and if you see this list this has been picked up completely from BTR test and discussion so you can always start with pediatrics and obs and gynae because pediatrics was at the top of our list and we have kept it here also also for the fact that you can learn the maternal care and the newborn care at the same time and the integrated system you can study together the radiological part you can study together and so on here i will also suggest one more thing never begin your journey with subjects like 
biochemistry or anatomy or microbiology which requires a lot of mugging up and subjects like cvs and neuro from medicine because these are really tough chapters and the concepts are really tough to master so this may hamper your confidence instead you can begin from pediatrics and obstetrics gynae if you are studying from if you are using ptr as your main resource or if you are using marrow you should always start with physiology you know in the beginning i started my journey with marrow so i had seen physiology lectures at the beginning and i love krishna kumar sir's teaching style i remember his famous line funny currents ha 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 if you have seen the physiology lecture i am sure you know what i am talking about so that's it from my side you can follow this order and by grouping these subjects you can build a stronger and more holistic understanding try this method out and let me know in the comment section that if it works for you you can screenshot them put it up on your wall and share it with your friends who are in a doubt where to begin from i wish you all the best see you in the next video thank you